back to our top story now. The government's decision to target and kill two British terrorists fighting alongside ISIL in Syria is being legally challenged. The Green Party is working alongside human rights charity Reprieve to put a judicial review in motion. And joining me now for more on this is the Green Party deputy leader, Dr Shaha Ali. According to David Cameron, this was done in self-defence and the UK security was threatened. So where's the lack of clarity in that? I think the first thing to set out at the outset is that the Green Party condemns any kind of terroristic activity which harms civilians. But the main problem that we have with this approach is that we risk losing any kind of moral high ground. There is a lack of clarity on the authorization for the use of this kind of force. We are not legally at war with Syria and that vote already fell in the House of Commons. So that is clear. So under what basis everybody should take an interest in the potential arbitrary use of lethal force without a judicial process. That's why we're supporting this legal challenge. We need clarity on the accountability and the use of this kind of lethal force. That was a British national who was assassinated using a drone on the 21st of August. And there were others near him who weren't targeted who were killed in the process. Do you think the British public will actually agree with this sentiment? After all, uh, David Cameron is saying, look, if you didn't take action, uh, what do we do? Walk away and then wait for the chaos and terrorism to hit Britain. Many people in the British public may think you're being soft on this. Get on and deal with this threat. We're not soft. We're actually trying to be objective. Objective about some of the causes which give rise to this kind of violence in the, in the first place, including the kind of extremism and warfare that is waged in foreign lands and creates power vacuums. So we need to deal with the ideology. We need to challenge and seek out why this is happening and try and deal with it at source. But using violence against individuals without proper authority by the state as a matter of principle is highly problematic. Without proper authority, therefore, do you think there should have been an open vote on whether action should have been taken, particularly on, on this at a, case? At a minimum, there needs to be clarity on this form of assassination which is outside the judicial process but uh, therefore saying we, we're gonna take out these two people we're gonna vote on it without well, undermine the actual mission wouldn't it to go public on it let's suppose that there can be some conditionality which has actually been put already under questioning we've had all different types of accounts of what kind of imminent threat these individuals may have posed but we do need clarity on that even if there was some kind of conditionality um, about the circumstances under which this kind of mission could be undertaken, we still need clarity. At the moment, it seems to be open season on who and on what basis somebody becomes a target of this kind of a mission. And that should be of great concern to any law-abiding citizen who takes an interest in the proper constraints on the use of lethal force. If you take our own... If you take within the, the 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 met police for example they have certain procedures for shoot to kill which are highly controversial because they don't have public consent we also need to ensure simply because somebody is on the street of a faraway land a country which we're not at war with we need to ensure that we still have a proper process of accountability on the public of on whose behalf we claim to be acting all right thank you very much indeed dr shah ali thanks very much indeed for joining us here on rt uk all right cheers